think I'm going to be having twins. Oh, oh, she's sprinting. Bum. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <sighs> so, I've been laying in bed for like 15 minutes doing absolutely nothing because we came back really late from roller skating last night. So, I'm really tired. But it's 6.50... 42. I am an early bird. Time to start my day. Good morning, guys. So, I just woke up and I came to the guest room because everyone else is sleeping in my room. Ranger's still sleeping. Salash and my husband are still sleeping. Good morning. I just woke up early because I want to organize my Pokemon cards. And look how much I have left. There's so much left. It's insane. It's really quiet. I'm assuming everyone's asleep, so I'm trying to be a little quiet. Good morning, Italy. She reminds me of a cat. Like, you know how cats, like, need dough, but it's actually a blanket? Yeah, that's what she does. Jeez. The very first thing I do every single morning is I have a peach right by me. And I have to have something in my stomach before I get off my bed because if I don't, I will start vomiting. Like, I've had the worst morning all day sickness out of all my pregnancies with this pregnancy and it's awful. And I think it helps me when I have something in my stomach before I start to move around a lot. So, typically, I wake up, I come to the guest room and I start munching on a peach very loud, so. I've been trying to do this since yesterday and I normally don't wake up this early, but I woke up super early just to finish this. So I typically wake up very sore in the morning. I am going to do my usual morning stretch. This one's gonna be a little longer because, I don't know, I feel like doing something special for the video. Since the beginning of the summer, I've been wanting to get a lot more flexible. So I've been stretching every morning with the end goal of getting my splits. Sometimes Ranger hears me get out of bed and he'll follow me. I haven't heard him, so maybe he didn't hear me getting up, but then I'm gonna start heading down the stairs to make breakfast. Good morning, Papa. Hey, Ranger's awake. Good morning, baby. Hi. <laughs> oh, did you hear me wake up? It's time to brush my teeth. Everyone's still asleep, especially when we get home late. They don't wake up till like 7 30, 8. You hungry? Let's go down. I cook for you a quesadilla. Weggy? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little more peach and then we're gonna head downstairs to make breakfast. All right guys, I just finished cleaning my room and now it's time to brush my hair and my teeth. So I'm going to take Italy on a walk. Where's her leash? Because although I do... Anyway, although I do let her out into our backyard in the morning, I still feel like I need to walk her because bonding time. Come here. Arr! 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 You want to rub your belly? She's so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm almost done. No. There. Are you ready? So it is so extremely hot out. And I really don't want her to like burn her paws or anything. So I'm going to walk her right here because it's too hot and there's no shade on the sidewalk. Let's go. So instead of like a 10 minute walk, it's gonna be like a three minute walk because of how hot it is. Oh, oh, she's sprinting. She doesn't typically pant when we go on walks, so that's how I know it's really hot. She's running, she's running. I'm gonna take her to get some water because of how hot it is. Oh, hi. Ah, you're so cute, hi. The next thing I'm gonna do is brush my hair because it's really, really tangled. I have a writing lesson at 11.30, so I need to get there at 11. So I need to get ready. More time for perfume. I don't like to directly spray it. So I walk into it. It's a very strong perfume I have. <coughs> <coughs> I inhaled it. 
I'm gonna crochet because it's what I do every morning. So I recently made this bag. It's the last project I made, so it's time to start a new one. These are some stuff I've made. I have a plan for them, but I don't really know yet. Don't mind the mess. So for breakfast today, we're gonna be making some potatoes with chorizo. And I start cutting the potatoes in really small squares. And now I put them in a pan with hot oil. Then I go ahead and I close it and wait for it to start cooking. On the side, I have some chiles, a red tomato, and a green one. And I like to boil that because we like our food spicy. And now here I have added some chorizo, which I'm gonna start putting it in little pieces just by squeezing it. And as you can see, everything is boiled. Now I'm gonna be passing all of that into the blender and blending it very well sometimes my husband likes chunks so i don't blend it that much but for today's occasion i am and now as you can see my salsa is ready everybody in this house loves spiciness so this adds a touch to the food this is one of our ultimate favorite favorite dishes especially for the morning slash slash what i smell food let's go downstairs your mom probably is cooking it smells so good. It does, but I can't. Five more minutes. Okay guys, so it looks like I'm the last one up and I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go downstairs and eat and I'm gonna come back up and fix my room. All right, you guys, I'm all done. I'm gonna go downstairs, eat some breakfast, and then come right back up to finish my Pokemon cards. Mm -hmm. So I got distracted. I was watching Netflix. So I heard some noise in the kitchen. So I'm assuming it's my mom making breakfast. I'm gonna go see what's going on out there. Thank you. So good. Mm. So this is the way I do it. It's a little different. I think it's better. Cheese and salsa has to be really spicy. The cheese and the salsa makes really good tacos. Try it. Mmm. Delicioso! The food was delicious and now I'm gonna go in the bathroom and brush my teeth and fix my hair. Now let's undo a raid and start brushing. I've been having to braid my hair like every single night because it gets very, very tangled. So comment down below if your hair gets tangled. So since we just finished eating, we all have chores we do in the morning. So Lash is gonna be washing the dishes. I love washing the she dishes. She loves washing the dishes. So it's gonna be sweeping. Deez is gonna be cleaning the counters. I'm gonna be helping get rid of the leftover food that we have. Cause yesterday I made really yummy lentejas, lentils. So I need to put those in the refrigerator. I don't want them to go bad. And then my husband's gonna be making almond milk. So for those of you wondering how he makes them, uh, stay tuned cause you'll see how he does it. Well, the kids finished doing their chores. My husband's gonna be doing some almond milk. He has peeled all the almonds. They used to look like this. And then he soaked them in water overnight and he peeled them, so now they look like that. I'm gonna do it really quick so they can see the process. So this is where the magic happens. I've never actually seen him make it. I've helped him peel off the skin, but I've never actually seen this. Yeah, all she does with the almond milk is drink it. And drink it. Hold it. So is that like a special bag or something? Yeah, this is a special bag. Oh See? my gosh. If you guys want like a complete tutorial, comment down below and my husband could give you guys the complete tutorial in another video. That is so cool. And it's so healthy for you. That's it. And then it goes into the jar? Yeah, and then it goes into this one. Ready. Now we'll just put it in the fridge and that's it. All right, you guys, so we finished cleaning the kitchen and I'm like, what is that noise? Because I stayed behind making orange juice with lemon because I am a fan of lemon right now. And I'm like, what is that? It's coming from the theater. Uh, what is everyone doing in here? Watching TV's music videos. Oh, that's what I hear like bouncing off the roof. Shall we do some activities outside? Do you so? Do you want to yes. play some basketball? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do 
wet. Before it starts getting hot. So, Lash, you're gonna play basketball with Diesel? Uh, I, I'm not into that basketball. <laughs> She's not into that basketball. Babe, you? I am. All right, you guys, so instead of playing basketball, the kids want to use their electric scooters. <laughs> okay, ready? In your marks. Get it. Go! Who won? You have to come back. Wait, what? <laughs> nice. So it is Susan Diesel's turn, and they're gonna be using their Segway electric go karts. This one's uh, Bumblebee Transformers. Optimus the Prime. Optimus Prime's Optimus Prime. Transformers. So this is the deal. You're gonna go just past the gate and turn around. So you have to apply reverse and somehow <laughs> come back. Wait, they have to go all the way at the end, turn around, and come all the way back. Mm -hmm. Good luck, guys. Go! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right there, come back. Oh, Sue went for it. <laughs> Disa, go! You're right there. Go, go. He's ready. <laughs> Sue thought we meant all of all. Oh, there she is. Yes. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Game five, that was good. I would have won. You guys, I cannot tell you how excited the kids were when they received their Segway go karts. Diesel has the Transformers Optimus Prime one, and it comes with so many cool features, such as drifting capabilities, 23 mph, that is a max speed, 15.5 miles range on one charge tsunamis is the transformers bumblebee segway go-kart pro some of the cool features are similar to diesels and how cool is it that these were actually tested on a professional racetrack okay you guys so we've been riding this for like 30 minutes now and they are so fun they go so fast and they're so easy to control because it's not like too slippery but it's not too hard to turn and we're definitely getting the hang of it it's so much fun because it's so much fun and these are just really fun plus it also has bluetooth so you can connect your phone to it and you can play music while you are on the actual go-kart this is me going like 20 percent of how fast it can actually go oh, that was awesome. Woo! Whoa! Okay, you guys, so I don't know when the kids are gonna end, but I'm gonna be heading inside because it is, it is hot out here. And it, is this spring coming? No. Maybe the plants are like dropping water on my head. But um, I'm gonna be going inside. We have so much stuff going on this morning, you guys, that I don't even know where to begin. Sue has a bunch of stuff to do today. Salash wants to go shopping. I don't know. I will see you guys inside. All right, you guys, so my nails need some painting and I want the clear nail polish and Sue has that. So I'm here to see if she will gladly do my nails. You know what? Yes, I will. She actually did my nails clear yesterday, so I shall return the favor. <laughs> I badly need it right now. Okay, one layer should be enough because I already have a layer. It's kind of shiny as you can see. I'm not an expert at painting nails, so I'm really glad you wanted clear. You're good. You've done them pink before and they look good. On myself, yes. Wow, that smells... It's strong. It just made my eyes burn. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so my nail polish is dry and Sue wants to do Salashi's nails now. So she's clear. gonna do clear. I mean, we have different colors, but clear I think goes with everything. So yes. And we're all matching. All clear nails. If you guys can see here, she has a ton of henna tattoos that Sue has drawn on her. They're now leaving, but... I have given henna to every single family member in this house except for my dad because mm -hmm. I don't know I guess I'm like the artist of the family you yeah say. diesel has one in his shoulder I did um Charizard yeah. and Salash does like tattoos every other day <laughs> yeah she'll like come to her she's like can I get Hannah and I'm like, yeah, of course. <laughs> all right all done Z's. she completely forgot I was all done. This hand is missing. Oh, see, he has also hand and tattoos. Yeah. But they're, they're it's leaving. a fish and a pig. Aww. The fish almost gone. Yeah. 
She has to redo them. So these have just finished up an ice cream, but I want to show um, our Diamond Zero tattoo. Okay, okay. <gasps> there it is. It's so good. Sue drew that. Like if it was so easy, it would have been so hard for me, but it, hurts it looks so good. bad. When you see oh, whatever. It does not hurt. It does not hurt, you guys. Comment down below if you guys have ever gotten one, because it does not hurt. So as you guys can see, my closet is a mess, so I'm going to pick that up. I don't know what to pick. But when I don't know what to pick, I go to my dad's closet and get one of his shirts. So let's go do that. Guys, he has so many options. I really like big shirts because they're comfy, you know? It's time to change. I'll dress now, time to clean my room. <laughs> guys, look at how much puppets I made. And the 16 of them. Okay, guys, so now my room is clean and I don't really like makeup, but I like wearing chapstick and earrings, so we're gonna put that on. Okay, guys, the reason I got ready is because me and my mom are going shopping. Shopping. And my sister is going horseback riding, so. All right, so we just finished working out and now we are gonna jump in the pool. You ready? Let's go. Let's do this. lesson in like a month one we've been really busy two they started group lessons in are we in july yet we're in august never mind so it's gonna be nice to do some stuff with other people time to get ready here's my helmet and my gloves because i'm riding oklahoma today and he tends to pull on his bit a lot so just a lot of pulling i have to do because he, he goes crazy <laughs> Ah, I don't know what to wear for my top. I don't want to wear a tank top because I get burnt like really easily. But I also don't want to wear a long sleeve. <laughs> it's going to be so hot. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you guys. So as many of you guys know by now, I am pregnant. And I get so many cravings. So right now my craving is a watermelon smoothie. So Lash and me, we're, we're going to be leaving soon. She's already. I'm not ready yet because I... I, I I don't know why, but I'm gonna be doing that. I think it's a perfect drink for the summertime. It's hot. This is pretty comfy. I'm gonna wear this top with my pants and my boots are literally in the very depths. I have to dig. Okay, got them. All right, so Celeste's so gonna be my little helper. She usually is always helping me and so is Diso and Sue. They love helping me make food. Celeste so <laughs> is a fruit. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm a fruit lover, so anytime she sees fruits close to me, she's like, uh, what are you making? Here I have a cup full of ice, and I'm gonna be putting chunks of watermelon in it. I'm gonna be adding some water, and I'm gonna blend. Now that I've gotten everything I need, it's time for an awkward transition. Ta-da! Here's the outfit, so helmet, which I need to loosen, obviously. You have my top, which is as breathable as it gets. My gloves, my riding pants, which are a little big, but it's fine. And obviously, my riding boots, and I've had these for like four years, and I guess they've been huge on me up until now. So, yeah, that's, that's the outfit. And there we have it. I am so excited. I like to put pieces of watermelon at the bottom of the cup just because it looks nice. I think if you do smaller pieces, you can actually like drink them if you have like the bigger straw and almost like a boba effect, but it's not boba, it's a piece of watermelon. And now I'm just gonna pour my smoothie in here. I used to get this a boba all the time and it's like $8 and I can make it at home for way less. And then you need a straw. And that is our summer watermelon drink. Taste test. <laughs> Bomb. That's delicious. Now I am off to get ready while drinking my low shop homemade smoothie. 
amazing. Okay, y'all. I just ate up this scrumptious, delumptious yogurt, which reminds me, I didn't even tell you guys how delicious my mom's was. Because it was a chorizo quesadilla with crema and potatoes. <sighs> Are you kidding me? It was so good. I'm putting on mascara purely because I didn't do really like anything to myself today, like no skincare. So to avoid looking rough, Bruh. We have no makeup wipes in this house. We've literally been using lotion and cotton swabs. That's great. All right, you guys. So Celeste so is reading a book while she waits for me. She's a big, big reader. She has books everywhere in the house. I am going to be getting ready. I'm not sure what store we're gonna go to. She needs a bathing suit and water shoes because her feet are getting really scraped in the pool. I'm not sure why that didn't happen before. My husband told me Ranger is sleeping, which is very weird because he just woke up. He went roller skating last night. It was Taylor Swift night. And this morning he's like, I am so sore. Look at this. I'm not kidding. He's sleeping and he just woke up. Oh my God, I got tired. I get tired so easily. Oh, so now I am gonna be getting ready. And I'm gonna put on some blush actually because I look a little dead. So this is Rare Beauty and the mascara I used was Rare Beauty. I can't find my other one, so I'm using this one. Should I release a makeup tutorial? I don't know. I did one on TikTok a while back, but it wasn't great and I've improved. So I'm starting to feel a lot better throughout this entire pregnancy. It's been, it's been bad. Like it literally, I thought I had HG because of how bad it was. Vomiting all day. I had morning sickness all day, all day sickness. And I did have that in my other pregnancies, but this pregnancy in specific, I was like, I think I'm going to be having twins because of how bad bad i feel the day before yesterday i was in bed all day vomiting like i have so much red spots from all the pressure i do while i'm vomiting all over my face it's like all red dots everywhere i mean it's nothing to worry about they say that if you are vomiting throughout your pregnancy the baby's healthy so that keeps me feeling very happy for the baby but at the same time like i can't do anything like i am just in bed all the time and just vomiting and feeling very bad so today's a good day i have good days and bad days yesterday was a good day today's a good day um but i just wanted to update you guys for a lot of you guys that have been asking how i'm feeling throughout the pregnancy it's definitely been a challenge that's for sure but i think i'm leaving that stage because i am in my second trimester now so i've heard that this is like the best trimester with all my kids it was but this one is different just because of how bad i've been feeling crossing fingers um send me good luck and i hope i start feeling better which i already am so now it's time to prep my face a little bit my hair is already pretty much done i brushed it earlier I'm just gonna brush it and then change i don't own any makeup brushes guys leave me alone in the light this is so pink i didn't even realize i look a little more alive now i'm going to go to my mom's restroom and get a hair tie <laughs> That is the best thing I've seen. All right, you guys, so I just finished deep cleansing my face with this, and now I'm gonna be using this ultra facial cream for my face. It's just basically moisturizer. Um, haven't been using foundation lately, only because I don't feel good. So I just try to make it as simple as possible. I put moisturizer, and then I put blush and mascara, and I'm out the door because I don't feel like doing anything else. So I let that dry. I am going to be going in with the blush and this one's always so tricky because even when I try not to get a lot of blush I still do wear beauty blush I am obsessed I have literally all her products I love all her products they are so amazing it's so affordable I'm still getting the hang of how much blush to add on without looking like I've been sunburned but a little goes a long way which I love this blush will last me for a couple years if I do that the lighting here is not the best so I can't even tell if I need more I feel like I might need a little more See, I'm still getting the hang of it I feel like that's a lot mm. There we go And sometimes the colors are different too Sometimes they're like very pigmented Like this one 
where you only need like a little tag. So there we have it. And now I'm off to mascara. I think I'm kind of worried to go horseback riding because it's been so long since I rode and I kind of lost that confidence. So I was just, just wondering if that happens to you guys too. Like if you miss a few lessons, do you kind of lose that confidence? Because that definitely happens to me. And then I get really worried about how I do in that class. And I think because I'm worrying, I actually affect my performance. So I'm trying to work on that. You know, we gotta be as confident as you can. You can only do as good as you can. Give it your best. My hair is tied. It's out of my way. I can ride comfortably. And yeah, I just have to wait because I think my dad's getting ready. So I'm just gonna chill. There's actually quite a while before I have my lesson. I brushed my hair and obviously my teeth earlier. So I just have the mascara to go and maybe a little bit of brow gel. But I don't have anything in my eyebrows right now. I typically don't. Just maybe gel if I'm feeling up to it, which I'm not 99% of the time. So I might just do my mascara and some lip liner and lip gloss. And that is gonna be my summer look for today. I'm not excited about going outside because it's so hot. I saw my husband jumping in the pool earlier and I was like, maybe I need to do that too. But so I was just like, no, I gotta go get my bathing suit first and my shoes. And I was like, you're right. Here's some just lip gloss. Actually, I'm gonna add some a little bit of concealer. You can tell that I have not been sleeping like I should be. Whoa, that is a lot. That's good. I don't think I've used it. The e.l.f. one. This is my first time I'm using this one and it is. A little goes a long way, I see. I should have put that first before the blush, but I, I didn't tell that I needed it. So now you know if you're using the e.l.f. concealer, a little goes a long way. And I'm definitely gonna add a little bit of mascara so I don't look like I'm scared. Okay, now I'm just gonna set it with Fur Beauty setting spray. Love it. It all day. And now it's time to brush my hair. Okay, y'all. So I am getting in the car. My dad's about to come out. So this is where the end of my morning is. Thank you so much for watching. Good morning. Mm, are you tired? Okay, this is gonna be my outfit for today. Very comfortable onesie. I think it's perfect for the weather outside. So all done and so comfortable. So now we are off to buy a bathing suit and some other summer items that we need. All right, you guys, so we're going to be heading out. As you can tell, it is a very busy summer for us. Everybody has something going on. And actually, I feel like other days it's way busier because Diesel actually uh, has boxing classes. Salaj and Sue have roller skating classes. Sue has horse horseback riding classes so many classes so today wasn't as bad but it was very 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 busy and now it's just one-on-one -on -one, Salash and me and we're gonna be going shopping so I'm super excited I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button because we do have some Apple products that we're gonna be giving away when we hit 9 million diamonds so we'll see you guys in the next video bye guys